Question number five, Fletcher Tabuto. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Prime Minister, does he stand by all his statements? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. <laughs> Speaker, yes. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Fletcher Tabuto. If the Prime Minister believes it is good that a Chinese SOE is buying half of Silverfern Farms, how does he respond to Alliance Chairman Murray Taggart, who said it was important for New Zealand farmers to retain ownership of their industry? That's right. uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, um, with the greatest respect, he is a competitor and in the private sector we tend to listen to the shareholders of the company, not the competitors of the company about whether something's good or bad for them. Supplementary. Order. Supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Fletcher Tabuto. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How does the Prime Minister respond to concerns that this company has such deep pockets it will outbid New Zealand companies for livestock and very quickly force New Zealand meat processors out of business? <clears throat> the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Yeah, well, Mr Speaker, I take all of that with a grain of salt, but I, I did watch uh, the news last night and I think, yeah, if you look at TV1's coverage of, of the issue, they interviewed what seemed to be an eminently sensible farmer uh, down south who, who said that she looked forward actually to the road shows and to hearing the good things that might happen. And this was a company that had gone from being massively indebted to potentially having cash in the bank and being ready to invest in New Zealand. I would have thought that's good for New Zealand jobs and opportunities for our farmers. <laughs> Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Fletcher Tabuto. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Who is correct here? Is it the Prime Minister saying the government was never approached by Silverfern Farms or his Minister of Finance who avoided meeting them for a year on potential investment questions? That sounds like the government was approached Order. to me. The question has been asked the Right Honourable well, Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, I don't think I've never said that. I think the member asked me the question yesterday and I said, I haven't been approached by them on this particular issue. Uh, other ministers may be, but uh, I, I don't run the diary of every minister in Cabinet, otherwise I'd be very, very, very busy. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Order. Point. Is a sup supplementary question, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr. Mr Speaker, to the Prime Minister, I wonder would the Prime Minister speculate on whether higher competition for stock in New Zealand leads to higher prices for New Zealand farmers? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker well, firstly, can I say that is the best question I've had in the House well, all, uh, all week. Then just answer but, it. But, but, I will answer it. Answer. The answer, in a word, is yes. I could, so, I could hold up a sign that would say that, uh, but the expert at holding up signs is in London at well, the no. moment, so I'll leave it to him. <laughs> Supplementary question. No, point, point of order, Mr. Oh, Speaker. Point of order. Uh, order. Order. It is a point of order. It'll be heard Mr. in silence. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I do believe it's uh, against standing orders to refer to the absence of a member. Order. I'll, I'll hear from the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Well, unfortunately for that member, uh, the member who is being spoken of is actually considered to be in the precincts of Parliament during this two week period, while in fact he's in London swanning around as the media order. agent. For order. The Order. Uh, order. Order. The, the question is actually right. Further supplementary, Fletcher Tabato. True, Mr. Speaker. If the Chinese government, through this company, owns half of Silverfern Farms. Can the Prime Minister assure Kiwi meat workers that they will not simply be replaced by Chinese workers under the Chinese FTA Temporary Employment Entry Criteria? Order. Right on the Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I would have thought that is highly unlikely in the same way that when Bright came into New Zealand uh, and bought a, a big chunk, I think, of Sinlay, they haven't replaced New Zealand workers. And last time I looked, actually, under the same FTA he's talking about, Given Fonterra's bought a big chunk of Benning, mate, I haven't noticed a fast track of New Zealand workers going over to work in China. Mr Speaker, we've had foreign investment in this country for decades. For the most part, it's been highly successful in transforming New Zealand and allowing us to have businesses with stronger capital bases. But in the end, it's for the, mem the owners of Silver Fern Farms to decide whether they want this, not the government. We don't own Silver Fern Farms, although we accept that if New Zealand first had their way, we Order. would own everything in Order. New Zealand. 
question.